Oh, no kill in place. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch episode 20 of Free Run Beyond's Journey and we are in the middle of the major test. Free Run and Fern are competing with third and second rate majors for the title of the first rate mage. A title which allowed them to cross up north to the Aurora Land of the Dead. The mission belongs to the difficult ones because they have to capture a bird that is extremely fast faster than Speedy Gonzales. And they must defend themselves from different members of the party to ensure their bird survival. On top of this, Fern and Freerun are in completely different groups and all of them are surrounded by mages trying to take down the opponents. How is the story going to unfold? Let's find out from this episode. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel grow. Thanks! Wow, he's defending himself quite well with that barrier. But how is she able? Exactly, that is really scary because you can't see it coming. <laughs> Her face though. <gasps> she got him a little bit. Oh, he figured that out. Unless that is not true. Who is she though? Wow, but that one is proper skill too. And she's so fast. Totally mastered ordinary magic. How long can you hold your barrier, little girl? <laughs> Whoa, that is a one day boom. Oh my god, Fern is so amazing. Necessary killing. That's ominous. Oh dear. It's what Fern sort of casted around the bird. Binding spell for human? Wow. Will he though? So he is very powerful indeed. He was just playing with her. Why don't you just release the bird? Interesting, maybe he cannot move himself. Oh dear. Oh no! Where's the... Oh my god, she nearly killed that poor bird. <laughs> That's really cruel. Why didn't she try to kill him? I mean, I, I, I hope she won't. Why? He's quite interesting the looking character. Okay, she's trying to escape uh yeah that's a very interesting point indeed i'm 
I wonder how far they are different from each other. But you have to. Oh gosh. Oh, no killing, please. Fan made it in time. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I guess so. What? I don't believe it. I'm pretty sure he's... I twitched. I, I refuse to believe that Fern has killed a human. Honestly, I don't think she has. もう不要な殺しが必要な殺しに戻るだけだ。わあ。嘘上手じゃん。今のうちに何と様の援護に向かいます。そしてでんきょうか。大丈夫です。あの目が。わあ。<笑> wow. So if he's a great pretender, is he pretending to be injured to bring his uh, guard down? Observant, indeed. That's good. Have you though? And is it he's doing an arm? Wow. Wow. But he's quite badly injured. A twin! <gasps> an illusion! Oh my god! That's masterpiece! An a lightning magic? A light magic to create illusions. Wow. I think he knew that she was. Oh, maybe he didn't know that she was lying. Well, she was against fur at the end of the day. Ordinary offensive magic. Hell yes. <laughs> wow. Well, she probably underestimated her big time. She's not a monster. She's just trying to kill demons. <laughs> I wonder. Totally lost, like all of them. <laughs> oh, he got proper electrocuted, didn't he? <laughs> I guess you have to try in however many three years. He seems like a nice character, even though he's a bit scary and, you know, I thought he might be a bad guy at first, but luckily, he's not bad. He doesn't look that much older than her. You're just pretending to be bad and evil, but you are not.
それが全員ぶっ殺してやるだからその時はこの村に帰ってこい Oh, that's so nice. Big words for a little guy. If it wasn't for the、uh, difference in their age, I'd think it was her, but no, she's too young for that. <laughs> This guy is floated there. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> He can use the binding magic. <gasps> He did go one! Oh, well done, guys. Like, I shouldn't really like, be happy about them, but I'm happy for them. <laughs> We have to keep an eye on him, though, like, all the time. Oh. She's observing and learning you. And there's others observing, too. <gasps> It's gone! Oh wow, that was quick. Super quick. And f r e e n didn't even detect at her. <laughs> and this guy just drinking tea and literally the bed next to him. No care in the world. <gasps> oh. For the bird to sit on her head, she must be suppressing her mana very well. Still, they are quite harsh. <sighs> That is worrying. Oh, wow. But he is the king's figure who lived a thousand years, and I just have a feeling she won't have much problem with him. Right. Yes, because she looked in that direction, so she could have definitely. She d o not underestimate them. Which is not a good thing. Yeah. Kill? What is wrong with him? Earth magic. Well, all night. After all, he has the main spot. Oh, that's some wisdom. ヒジョ But that elf had a nasty snicker on her lips, you know, like, I didn't, I didn't like that at all. So you are after killing them. Gosh. An earthquake. Worlds divided. Hmm. Tremendous magical power. 
Oh dear. Just what is Freon going to do? Is she going to trust these two little girls with defending a more elder and powerful opponent? Yes, there is two of them, but one of them can freeze things around her or just body of water. And the other one needs water to actually use her spells. So she's a magical, so, so, so she's a kind of a water magic user. Now, usually it would be a big advantage, but the leg is still frozen, right? And there are like little ponds scattered around, but is that enough for them to use to attack? It's going to use a lot of mana. It is worrying. Why do they want to kill them? Like, why do some of those mages want to kill each other? Do they not seem each other worthy enough to believe in? That is absolutely sick. Like, yes, Fern have lied that she killed, obviously. The other two. I feel like this... No, this, this green-haired girl, she didn't want to kill her opponent. And so he doesn't either. This man? It's worrying that some of these mages are just so cruel and ruthless. Not nice at all. And this man? Even though he knows that Freyren defeated the Demon King and lived for however many centuries, he's still willing to take her on just what is his magic and how sure can he be about his magical skills? And then the elf that we saw, she was in the opening and she knows, she's, she's like a living grimoire. She knows all the magic and spells in this world. Just who is she? And she was sat down there on the throne with elven goddess statue back in her. Now if that's not worrying, I don't know what is. There was something evil about her, something strange, as, she, as if she wasn't humane. Yes, she's an elf, but... Look at Freyren, she's studying humans, she's trying to become more human. Was that other elf that we saw? Didn't see very humane at all. I have a feeling that Freyren might actually win, become the first raid mage, meet the other elf, and the other elf will gain too much interest in her and something bad might really happen. The party of heroes before they reach Aurora Land of the Dead. Honestly, I swear to God, I've not read the manga and those are just my speculations, but I kind of feel like this is where the story might go. Once again, I'm truly amazed by Fern's skill at fight. <laughs> she totally took her opponent down with ordinary magic. <laughs> ordinary magic in Fern's hands is literally not ordinary at all. <laughs> But after all, she is an apprentice of a great, great elf. A beautiful free run with such a vast amount of knowledge and power. A massive thank you to anyone supporting my channel, particularly my patrons and Isaac. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon where you can find uncut, full length and 100% opacity videos early release. On top of that, I react to Patreon exclusive anime titles. And as my Daimyo Patreon, you can even get a shout out in the video. Alternatively, you can join this channel as my YouTube channel member, gain access to other exclusive perks, and all of this you can find in links below. Your support means the world to me, and all of the donations go towards the equipment subscription and building my YouTube studio, which is something I'm planning for the future. It's been a joy to watch this anime with you, so I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!